I'm Pat Flynn. And I'm Michael Kane. And this is The Pat Flynn Show. Hello, I'm Michael Caine, world famous actor. You might remember me from some of the hundreds of films I've starred in, such as The Cider House Rules, Hannah and Her Sisters, and of course, the role for which I'm probably most well known, Jaws, The Revenge. The one question I'm always asked is, I love Jaws, The Revenge. It's my favorite movie. How did you get in such phenomenal shape for the role of Hogan? Well, I'll tell you, when you're doing battle with a shark with your bare hands, the physical demands are tremendous and you have to be in top physical form and it takes a special training regimen to prepare for it. Today, I'm gonna to show you one of the exercises that helped me get that leading man, John the Revenge body that you remember so well from the movie, the kettlebell swing. And here to help me demonstrate is trainer to the stars, Pat Flynn. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna learn how to move properly through the hips. You're gonna do this by putting a light weight against your chest or against your belly and pressing your hips backward. This is going to teach you how to recruit the right muscles at the right time so that you can do the swing. Once you can do this, the next thing to do is the deadlift. The deadlift, despite its scary name, is simply lifting the weight off the ground. The previous exercise should teach you how to move properly through the hips and the deadlift will teach you how to pick the kettlebell up safely and prepare you for doing a swing. An innovative way to learn how to generate power through the hips is with the high pull catch. You're going to pull the kettlebell off the floor using your hips and you're going to catch it in front of your chest. And now finally we get to the kettlebell swing. For this you're going to push your hips back as we've done with all the previous exercises. Stand up quickly as if you're trying to jump and you're going to project your energy forward. The kettlebell will lift in front of you at its own pace. Don't let it go higher than the chest and don't let it go lower than the belly button. Now before we get started, let's take a look at a couple of things that I know you're doing wrong with your kettlebell swing. The kettlebell swing is not a shoulder exercise, so don't do front raises. You're using your hips, not your arms. And I don't want to see you bending your low back. The kettlebell swing is not a squat, it is a hip hinge. So don't drop your butt to the ground. And for God's sake, don't put the kettlebell over your head unless you're doing a snatch. This isn't CrossFit. Remember, the kettlebell swing is a lot like a giant shark. If it doesn't keep moving forward, it dies. So, don't let your kettlebell swing die. Keep practicing and be persistent. So, keep at it. And maybe, just maybe, one day, you too can be a leading Hollywood actor doing battle with a giant shark. Strong on.